Scotland It's a land with rich archaeological history Like Scotland's Highland, Scottish historical landscape is beautiful This is one of the places dubbed as the Palace of Scotland's History. The 120-year-old Kelvin Grove Museum in Glasgow. It is the most popular and the most visited museum in Scotland. In here, Objects of cultural significance from Scotland's past are protected. Collections are preserved for the benefit of the nation's history. These big prehistoric fossils or smaller fossils to fragments of pottery like these ones which came from the medieval age. Artifacts don't just go up by themselves. Many of them were found by archaeologists. But significant number of artifacts were also unearthed by ordinary people. Small objects like this can be found by anybody while gardening, farming, or even just hiking. Archaeologist Dr. Natasha Ferguson sets up her temporary office for Scotland's Treasure Trove Unit which deals with people's archaeological discoveries. The Treasure Trove um, in Scotland ensures that archaeological objects found by members of the public um, can be allocated to museums um, across Scotland. Several people have come and brought in their finds. One of the objects brought in is this hundreds years old spindle world. Spindle worlds date from the medieval period. It can range in date from about 300 to 500 years old. It's made of lead and you can see that it's decorated here. And these are quite important objects because they indicate um, domestic um, activity. So if you find concentrations of spindle worlds, maybe with things like buttons or buckles or um, fragments of pottery, um, it may indicate the presence of medieval activity such as a settlement or a, a midden deposit. The purpose of a spindle whirl is, is that you have a, a wooden rod um, and that acts as a, as a counterweight so that the rod spins and you tease out the wool to create, um, to create the, the, the thread. Now these are quite important objects because they indicate um, domestic um, activity. So if you find concentrations of spindle whorls, maybe with things like buttons or buckles or um, fragments of pottery, um, it may indicate the presence of medieval activity such as a settlement or a, a midden deposit. The finder of the spindle whorl also handed in this late cast button. And also these communion tokens these dates about the 17th to 18th century. The lettering here indicates the church or parish where the token originates from. One finder also bring in this first Elizabeth coin. From the 16th century onwards they had dates on them. Um, so this, this coin is dated 1575. Additional objects from the public have significantly contributed to the knowledge of the Scotland's past. Dr. Ferguson hopes that people become more aware of this. All artifacts are, are, are considered to be national property, so things don't languish in, in private collections, but can be available for um, the public for research um, and uh, maybe hopefully public display. What needs to be done? if you find an object. First, record the position of the find spot as accurately as possible. Use GPS or mark it on a map. Don't damage it. If it looks fragile, leave it on the ground and cover it. Do not attempt to clean it. Take pictures, then contact Treasure Trove Unit. Uh, 
Uh, and what we do is we decide whether we think it is of archaeological significance. And if it's important enough, it means it can be protected in museum collections um, across Scotland. Outreach is a really important part of what we do in Treasure Trove because although it's your legal responsibility in the sense to report an artefact, we also want to make it clear that, that it's also a contribution that members of the public are making. But Dr Ferguson and her colleagues may need to work harder. Some people say they have never heard of Treasure Trove Unit. Uh, are you aware that there is a system called Treasure Trove System? No, I have no. Um, are you aware that there is a system called Treasure Trove System? The, are you aware of it? The, what, the, it's the, called Treasure Troves. So, this uh, used to be the old Treasure Trove System, but it's run. The Queen's members, uh, I'm not sure, runs at this moment in time, but I find something, a treasure I find that I'll take into the local museum. It is an obligation for all members of the public to help protect historical objects for the benefit of the nation. Scotland's glorious past could never be able to be remembered like it is today without public participation. I am Bagus Saragi, Maze Magazine.